All right, this video is for a lot of people out there that come across Microsoft alerts when on the official Microsoft site saying you have a virus that if you turn your computer off, all files will be deleted. These are tech scammers. My own mom was hit for $600 by one, and that put me on a path of putting them in their place by scamming them, basically by shutting down their tool to do the scamming. And I'm going to continue this. I want to show you what they do. There's amazing, there's a little thing that they'll do. First of all, what you'll do is you'll get a little notice. Let me see if I can find a little notice of what it looks like. All right, so it looked just like this. Malicious pornography spyware has been detected. Please call us immediately, blah, blah, blah. They could be stealing your blah, blah, blah. So what you do is you call them, and they say, yes, we are certified Microsoft. Now, if I had a virtual machine on here, I would, I would go ahead and do it. I'm going to do a silent video on my main computer, which has a virtual machine, and show you guys exactly what they do. All right, so what they're going to do is tell you to download a program like TeamViewer. They're going to take control of your computer. And the first thing they're going to do is they're going to come in here and go command prompt. And they're going to say, okay, let's scan your files. Can you see that uh, that is all the files we are scanning? Now, not being racist in any way, there's only been two United States, you know, English United States speaking people we've ever come across. Then they do this. They go into your event viewer. Be like, let me take a look at your problem. So they'll come in here. What they'll do is click down on here, administrative events. Let me take a look at what your problem is there. So. Let's give it a minute. Oh my god, said, do you see all these critical errors you've had? It'll come down, right? They'll keep doing all this crap. Hold on. They'll come in here and be like, oh my god, sir, you're not supposed to have over 100 errors and warnings at one time. Your computer is very infected. We must fix this. The hackers got your computer. Then what they'll do is they'll come in your command prompt again. And they're idiots. They'll do a, a net stat. Enter. Or you can do a net stat. Hold on, let me do another one. What they'll do is a net stat. Dash A. A and O. Oh my god, sir. Do you see all these IP addresses? These are all the people that are hacking in your computer at this current moment. We must fix this, and to fix this, we must install uh, a certain spyware and software. Do you know you know how the firewall working? And these are, most of these are internal IP addresses, like these ain't, the 172s aren't, but these are all internal, well, these are internal. To tell you the truth, people out there looking, if you go to that and you type in netstat space dash ano, and you see listening and established and closed and wait, you're fine. As long as you don't see establishing, you are not really hacked, okay? Now, they, they will go through this, and they will seriously tell you and convince you. They convince my mom. And then what do they do? When they get the payment, they come in here. They type in run. Let me open run, sir, and see what's going on. And they type in sys key. 
And if I hit enter right now, my whole hard drive would be wiped. Or another thing they do, uh, let me take a look at your files. It'll come into your C drive like this. Right, and then right click on it. Um, let's see. I don't know where they go. Give access to copy properties, tools, hardware. security yeah they go in and they make it so that when your computer boots you need a password to get into it and they'll set a password so you can never use your computer again after you pay them and then they, they'll also wipe your C drive now to show you what that looks like give me one second the, the pictures you're gonna see about a computer were not done by scammers they were done by somebody who wanted something I had and uh, yeah that's what they did they wiped everything as you'll notice Okay, you see this when it happened. Publisher unknown, right? Nothing big, but look at this. Processor not available, RAM not available, everything gone. Everything was just wiped from my computer. I had to buy a brand new hard drive, publisher unknown. Everything was screwed. So if you ever, there is no such thing as somebody's calling you claiming to be Microsoft support because you have a problem don't deal with them or mess with them like I do but I like to get them back I like to to say when they want payment I like to send them a picture of a check and when they accept that picture it actually gives me remote access in their, to their computer and uh, man I would love to seski it and delete their files and all that but that's illegal I couldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But it would be nice to. Just to show them how it feels. And these guys laugh about it. So don't ever trust anybody who's on the phone. If you ever get one of them pop-ups on your browser warning. If you close this. Little, basically what you have to do is go to task bar. Or task manager. Sorry. Go to your processes and look whatever browser it's in. If it's in Chrome, right click and task. That's all you got to do. That is it. Stay off Microsoft sites. Stay off support sites. Don't search stuff like that. I do not run real-time security. I'll be honest with you. Look, you want to see my real-time security? Look at my real-time security. Hold on. Virus protection off. Firewall's on. That's off. Now look. Virus and real-time protection off. Cloud protection off. You don't need to run antivirus bullshit. What you need to do is once a week. What you got to get is um, iOrbit system care. So you don't have it no more because I bought re-image. But what you do is you just buy, I, not buy, get it free, iOrbit System Care. And it'll run through a diagnostic and it'll clean your computer every week. Now if your computer is totally bogged down in crap, what you want to get is this program right here called Reimage. It's $49 and it will totally rebuild your computer like brand new. This computer I've had since 2011, it is now 2018, and this thing will run faster than most computers out there, and it keeps up with me, and that is a lot to say, because I have always have tons of programs going. Reimage is the best computer repair tool out there, so I highly recommend that. If you want to use free stuff, like I said, use iOrbit. iOrbit Uninstaller, iOrbit Defrag or Smart Defrag, and system care now if you want to get a little more if you're more tech savvy try tweaking.com for windows this program is simply amazing for free always use a driver booster check your drivers every once in a while but you can also do that by going to device manager simply open that up and uh just find whatever drivers you're trying to fix so if we're trying to fix like you know a mouse driver come in here update driver 
All right, search automatically. It'll say we've recognized your drivers up to date. See? Now, what are these unknown devices? You can always go to properties and see what they are, but I know what they are. They are my, my, um, let's see. They're my audio interfaces. As far as I know, my audio interfaces are right here. So let's see. You can go to properties, driver details, rootnet 02, events 11 12 2017. So it's been a while. I wouldn't worry about that. So just make sure if you ever have problems with something launching, just update the drivers. Just come in here. A little drop down all right like so this is um the controller host for my us or for my playstation if that wasn't working i'd update the driver things like that one last thing here's some of the main tools you want to know administrative tools right this is where you can come in and you can do a lot of tune-ups to your computer you can do um, disk cleanups, you can look at your event viewer, defrag, computer management, you can monitor your performance, you can do system configuration, system information, Windows memory diagnostics. Another one you want to do is uh, you can come to your PC, right click, properties, Wait, hold on, oh no, come down to your Windows icon, right click, and you can see all the different kinds of things you have here computer management task manager settings it's all in here windows 10 i can't say i like it a lot because there's a lot of spying one little tip if you are signed into your windows 10 machine with your google account and you're also signed into your phone with your google account and you use voice to text a lot with your phone they store all that data to build up a profile on you on what you like, what you're doing, things like that. So there are ways to get around it, to shut it off. And, uh, you know, I highly recommend it. If you guys have any questions, leave the comments below. I'll get back to you. And this is Beer Mods, a.k.a. IP. It hurts. And uh, I am your growing computer helper, the real guy that don't ask for money. I've helped... Hundreds and hundreds of people. Um, now moving into Linux, as you've seen in the last video I posted, was how to install a virtual machine with either Linux and Bluetooth. They're all the same, Mint, Debian. They are all Linux uh, destros. So hope this is uh, helpful to you guys. Remember, don't trust a scammer. Don't, don't even do it. Play with them, have fun with them, but be careful because... Remember, even after they get paid, they still sess key and wipe your computer. I would never give control to anybody who says they're tech support. Only somebody you know personally and trust. All right, I'm out.